All right, so today is Wednesday, June, uh, I think it's 16th, I'm not positive, 17th, June 17th, and um, I took off earlier from work, so I can go and do some more testing and actually having fun. Um, different people have different tastes, what fun is, or different ideas what fun is. To me, uh, when it's snowing and uh, the weather is bad, it kind of makes it a little extra special, special, a little uh, extra challenging. So there's a storm, winter storm advisor, <laughs> June 17th. Anyway, it's already snowed about, I think, uh, close to five inches on the mountain. So I'm going to go and check it out and uh, camp overnight and I'll come back tomorrow so I can be back to work on Thursday. Um, I'm going by myself so don't know how much footage I'll be able to to gather. I guess I'll do my best but uh, it's uh, around three o'clock in the afternoon and I am I should be at the camp um, probably by six maybe 6 30. Anyway we'll see what what else I'll be able to film. Alright, I am uh, at the place where I think I'm going to camp overnight. I actually wanted to climb <clears throat> to the pass, which probably another couple of miles, but it's really a rough trail. And uh, uh, let's see, what's, it's 5.42, so I'm kind of running out of time. I'd like to break the camp and... Uh, spend the night and in the morning if all this snow that's coming down it's right now it's wet snow so hopefully it will accumulate overnight so I can um, I can go and play a little bit but anyway um, at this point because I'm running out of time, that I'm going to break the the, uh, the camp. I already said that, and um, so I stopped here to get some water. Unfortunately, the only water I can get around here is uh, there is a spring way up, uh, about halfway this uh, mountain mountain. And uh, I'll just fill it up here and use my filter to filter it so I can have some hot soup tonight. And that's what I'm setting out to do. Alrighty. Alright, so <laughs> I took this side trail thinking I'm going to camp here. But then I found this in front of me and I didn't bring my chainsaw today and I'm not about to go and cut that thing with a handsaw. So I'll have to look for a different place to camp. 
All right, first things first. I think I'm gonna camp here for the night. I'll have to build the fire first. I'm thinking of putting tent right there, nice and flat. And then we'll take care of the supper. This time around, I guess due to my laziness or just experimenting, or at least that would be the excuse. I didn't lower my tire pressure, but the, those Baja claws are a lot softer sidewalls, so I didn't feel rough at all. Um, I was kind of in a hurry leaving, so <clears throat> all this, all my camping gear that's in the back of the truck um, added some additional weight. And I have about 10 PSI in my airbags, so tomorrow morning I'll probably bring it up to maybe 20. It's squatting just slightly in the back. But it's, it's a great day. It's always nice out here, nice and quiet. Um, up, uh, up on the top of the mountain, uh, the wind is uh, roaring, but down here in the, in the trees, it's not bad. The tops of the trees moving slightly, but beautiful day. So, fire time. Oh yeah, since last time that I was uh, filming, my drawer uh, boxes, I have installed this uh, handles, the leather handles. Oh, I forgot to get the paint out. But anyway, um, and I stained it with my <laughs> home-brewed uh, concoction of the of a, of a wood stain. And I think I like the way it came out. I probably need to stain now the inside too because that's kind of... Uh, I guess it doesn't bother me too much. But um, it's just an old leather belt. I'm, I'm going to see, I might add another screw here and here, make it three to the side. Um, well, surprise, surprise, <laughs> because I was in such a hurry, Mitch was packing me. And I don't know if he did it on purpose or, or it was just an honest mistake. But I don't have tent. So I'll have to be, I'll have to uh, test my sleeping bag system. It has a Gore-Tex uh, cover. And um, let's just hope all this beef jerky when I start farting wouldn't attract any bears. But, um, well, I do have a cot, so at least I'm not going to be uh, completely uncomf uncomfortable. I was considering sleeping in the truck, but I'm not a very tall man. I guess average height, but it's going to be tight. I don't like to be uh, rolled into, the, into a donut. Anyway, that's, that's just sometimes... <laughs> just the way it goes so anyway um fire right
Well, fire is going. Snow started to accumulate. Maybe I'll have something to play with in the morning. My bed is ready. <laughs> Mitch, I'll remember that. I'll remember that and I'll make sure that... Uh... Anyway. <laughs> um, so next thing, I gotta make myself some soup. Get something hot in my belly. Probably by then it will start getting dark, so I think I'm gonna retire and save my energy for tomorrow. Well, I almost started getting comfortable and I forgot I don't have drinking water. So this is what I'm using to get pot potable water. It's a gravity uh, fed um, ceramic, mar yeah, ceramic filter, whatnot. Whatever the technology, it works great. It's uh, like I said, it's a gravity. You just pour water in this uh, bag, and then uh, the filter is on the inside, so the water goes through the filter, filters it down to whatever you're using it to collect it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to something hot. It's not cold just yet. It's supposed to get into low 30s, maybe even high 20s. Even for Wyoming, it's kind of unusual for this time of the year. After all, like I said, it, it's, it is uh, June 17th. But it's, um, Wyoming had seen bigger animalities than this. Uh, but anyway, great opportunity for me. Well, I thought I'm going to mention the time that it takes to filter the water. Right now it's, uh, well, about a third full, maybe a little more than a third. And um, I'm not going to time it, but the rate of flow is right there. So it shouldn't take more than say 10 to 15 minutes to filter this much water probably about a gallon all right i'm getting hungry i'm not waiting for the fire it will take forever to boil the water so back to the modern conveniences of life that will speed up things well <coughs> well in less than uh, 10 minutes it's all ready to be chumped down i mean generally i'm not a fan of all this chemical stuff but hey out here uh, i wouldn't say i'm cold it's uh it's fairly comfortable with the jacket and the sweat or whatnot but that uh, hot soup i think it will hit the spot just right well, early morning, night passed by pretty peacefully, the sleeping bag worked as advertised, except I'm not sure about the below 40. Right now it's about actually 30 degrees and uh, kept me dry warm fairly comfortable but if you would if you get uh, any lower than that probably not sure wildlife kept away and it's time for breakfast I was expecting more snow apparently the storm that they promised did not materialize as always weatherman is wrong there's some still clouds up in the sky don't know if it will materialize to anything farther nothing like fire but anyway I think it's time to get some breakfast get some tea going 
and then I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do today since there is no snow I probably wheel around a little bit and then go home Well, it's not in a hurry to warm up. Very... I thought it would be melted by now, especially on the ground. I thought uh, the ground will be warm enough. Anyway, breakfast is consumed. It's even ready to be recycled. And I am packing. I'm gonna go wheel for a little bit and then head home. I need to go back to biology class because I have no idea what this critter is. Apparently whatever it is climbs trees pretty well too. like a chipmunk on steroids. Even makes similar sound.
my wonderful wife, the best thing that ever happened to me. Got <laughs> I'm back to servers uh, for for cell phone. So she sends me a text. Did you get Mitch's Mitch's text? No tent, and you didn't grab your pillow. Well, this is a good experience for roughing it out. <laughs> Thanks. Some, something tells me maybe there is a there is a conspiracy against me there. Anyway, that's just great. I think he is very happy. It was lunchtime. Nobody likes their lunch to be interrupted. Those ponies are always sad, sorry looking. I mean, they're cute, but just something about them. <laughs> 